Yeah, so you need some arc flash protection equipment. So you generally need a visor, oh, yeah. um, arc flash clothing, which might be uh, something that you, uh, like a suit of some sort, or maybe a leather jacket of some sort, depending on the size of the arc flash. These are the oil switches, I think. Yeah, so this, this is a, uh, a rig called a rig main unit. So you've got the, it's in the middle of multiple ring main units which all go around in a circle and connect back to each other, back to themselves. Um, so you've got a high voltage cable coming in on one side and going out on the other, and then it's teeing off at this uh, ring main unit. So it'll tee off uh, through a switch, through some fuses, and then into a cable to, say, a transformer, a transformer feeder to power a switchboard and run your plan. So, for operation, uh, depends what you're trying to achieve with it. So, uh, you might just be working on the transformer. If you're working on the transformer, then you need to isolate the feeder going out to the transformer from the ring main. So, the ring main stays intact and supplies left and right. So, that's the ring's still complete. Cover for the fuses will be mechanically interlocked so you can't open it until the, the cable has been isolated in there. Front of you down below, I think there's one with the fuses in it from what I saw last time. So now you can open that cover, now you've isolated the nerf bed and you can withdraw the fuses um, and you can then pull those fuses out, you can test them uh, and work in your transformer. So once you've done all of the work and you want to put everything back in the service, you've got to put the fuses back in, close the cover, you've got to withdraw the earth, so reverse the same process that you did before, you've got to yeah. remove the earth. So there's a couple of other switches on here. Um, there's a switch coming in from the left, a switch coming in from the right. So each of those switches, you can isolate the transformer by Isolating the mains coming in from the left and the right if there's switch on in. Both sides? Yep. Well, you, if you turn on one side, you get the power coming from the left. Um, if you want to complete the ring so that you've got some sort of some redundancy against the failure of a cable in the ring, then you'd want to close the switch on the right hand side as well. Yeah, so, assuming yeah. you've isolated that screen, so you follow the switching program, you should be able to now put that into the earth position. Yep. And same on the other side, just better put that side in the earth position. Okay, now you've got both sides earth, you 